Hey guys, I will be showcasing you one of our best selling thermal printers. This is the X Printer brand XP490B Direct Thermal Printer. In this video, we will go through the whole process from product features and specifications, setting it up for printing, installing the driver for Windows, and test print. For now, we'll be giving you a quick overview of this thermal printer as we go through its specifications. This printer will be compatible for both Windows and Mac OS. Although, in this video, we'll only set up for Windows. This model supports USB Type. And if you're not familiar, there are two kinds of thermal printers. Direct Thermal and Thermal Transfer. This one is only capable of printing direct thermal wheels. At the back, we have the on-off switch, the port for power cable, and the port for the USB cable. The max print width is up to 108mm. Anything smaller is also compatible with this printer as long as you have the proper software to support. We usually use Bartender for smaller sizes. I will put the link in the description below. The built-in size for this printer is A6 or 4x6 and 4x4. So if you're using this for online selling, the size is already perfect for our Waybill stickers at A6. So you don't need to download any software. Now allow me to quickly set this up for the test print. For the driver, once again, I will provide the link in the description below for Windows users. The setup is actually pretty straightforward. Just make sure that the USB is plugged in properly and the printer is turned on so that your PC or laptop can recognize this. So in my case, since I have the driver already installed in my laptop, it's stopped in the middle. But if this will be your first time installing it, your PC should be able to discover the printer and just continue setting it up. So we'll do a quick test print for now. Just make sure to adjust the size on the settings to the way build that you're trying to print on. Now if you think that the output is not dark enough, you can always adjust this in the settings. Just go to printers and scanners and click on manage. Next, go to printing preferences. And click on options. Now you can adjust the darkness. You can always max it out if you want to and apply it. That's it for now. If this video helped you in any way, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel.